I grew up absolutely loving your character and the way you play all of your characters because you always present such a strong female presence and I always idolize that. And I was wondering because I know a lot of my friends feel the same way about you as an actress. What is your what are your thoughts on sort of making being a you know pardon the language a kick ass female action movie star a socially acceptable because you were one of the ones who broke the ground for that for being not just the damsel in distress who's going oh save me save me <laughs> to being you know you're taking me with you whether you like it or not <laughs> so I mean what are your thoughts on that because I like I said I grew up with a poster of you on my wall uh, well you know the, uh, I think it really meant a lot to me to get a chance to play these sort of roles. Um, I was from a, a kind of a new generation of actors and in fact you know I came from the experimental, experimental theater back in the early 70s and um, you know we even scorned the word actress you know we wouldn't let ourselves be called an actress we, we, we called ourselves actors and you know it was a whole uh, group of really you know very self-reliant very strong um, women a, a kind of a generation of actresses. I think I'm not alone. There's such a kind of wonderful generation of actresses um, that I came into the theater and into film with. Um, you know, I could name them forever. Deborah Winger, Sissy Spacek, Sigourney Weaver, Meryl Streep, you know, Glenn Close. I mean, such an interesting, strong group of women. And, um, you know, I feel really lucky that I was given a role like like um, uh, Marion Ravenwood to play. You know, when I when I first read the script, I just thought, wow, that is the most beautiful introduction to a character I've ever read. You know, <laughs> like somebody sitting in a bar in Nepal, speaking Nepalese, ordering all these men around, drinking this big mountain man under the table. Um, you know, I just thought, yeah, oh, you know, Indy walks in and she punches him in the chin, and I thought, you know, what a girl. <laughs> I, just really, I just really liked the character as they had written her. I have to say, you know, it was a bit of a struggle in the actual shooting of it because um, I really had this, this vision of the character that was very not damsel in distress, and, it, and Steven Spielberg and I had a little bit of a difference of opinion about it at times. You know, I wanted her to always be active. I wanted her to never, you know, have one of these help me indie, help me indie kind of moments. And, um, you know, but I wanted her to also be human. You know, I, I didn't want her to be completely invulnerable. So we were constantly kind of trying to figure out you know, the, the right um, way to create the characters so that she didn't, she didn't, because in, in a way, they, they kind of wanted Marion to become um, a damsel in distress. You know, they put me into that white dress, which I absolutely loathed. And, um, <laughs> You know, they took, they make me lose my shoes in the snake pit, and you know, so so there's there's this sort of attempt to make her more helpless than she is certainly when we meet her in the bar. And, you know, I mean, now I'm suddenly in a torn dress, you know, uh, with no shoes on, in a pit of snakes, with fire all around, and and you know, so so there 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 were always these sort of moments, and I kept in every moment where you know there was a choice between you know. Is she going to pick up a frying pan and hit somebody on the head, or is she going to sort of go, Indy, Indy? I was always like, No, give me that frying pan. <laughs> so I think it really, I think it really, in the end, sort of, uh, you know, helped. You know, I feel like I really got to co-create with the part that they wrote for me and make her as strong a, a, a woman as, as she was. And I'm so glad that, that um, you know, it's such a surprise to me sometimes when people talk about how much, you know, they, they, they love the film. I, I, I mean, I know the film is love, but I never sort of realized, I guess, you know, the effect that the character has, has had on a generation of women. And, and people do come and say that to me. Um, and, and it's always sort of just a wonderful thing to hear, so thank you. Thank you a lot for being here.